Hey guys, Civilian Soldier 762 here, and today I'm going to do a review on my everyday carry the Beretta PX4 Storm Compact. I really like this pistol. It's a uh, it's the compact version of the PX4 Storm. They make three different sizes, I, I believe. There's a subcompact, and then the full size, obviously. I went with this one because I <clears throat> I wanted something that feels like a full size gun in your hand, but is compact enough to carry every day. And this gun, I mean, it's definitely not the smallest, but uh. I can wear it with like a t-shirt and khaki shorts using a thin Uncle Mike's in the waistband holster and I have no problems you know it doesn't really profile too bad at all let's see here uh, this let me show you it's safety safety check first see nothing in the chamber obviously no rounds in it This gun is a hammer fired. It's a double action, single action. It uh, has several ambidextrous controls, which are nice if you're a left handed shooter that, that it comes stock with. You have, first off, you have an ambi slide catch, and then you also have an ambidextrous safety slash decocker. And uh, you, you can also get ones where you can get rid of the ambidextrous for either side if you want a thinner profile for this weapon. It comes with just, you know, the three dot sights on it. Some of them, this one for some reason didn't, but it, it doesn't bother me because it doesn't really matter. It's not that great. I have like a, a cheap type night sight. They're not real night sights like the tritium ones they're just like painted that charge with light and realistically I mean if you wake up at 3 in the morning and hear somebody in your house they're not going to be charged anyway and you're not going to turn the, the light on to charge them and ruin your night vision so I mean it's kind of a pointless feature in my opinion but uh let's see here I uh this gun, it does come with two magazines. There's some versions out there that come with three. It's the LEO package or whatever. But I mean, there's really no difference other than it has an extra magazine. But most of the ones you find come with two magazines. These are really nice quality mags, that, you know, bred of proprietary mags, which, you know, they are kind of expensive compared to, you know, like a Glock or something like that that has a million aftermarket mags for it. One feature about this gun also is it can accommodate, you know, shooters with different hand sizes. Right now I've got a Hogue slipover grip on it. I just love the Hogue grips on <clears throat> any gun. They feel great. And I've got larger hands, so this this grip also, see how it kind of swells out there on both sides? Which, you know, fits your hand, fills your hand really good. For some people, you know, it might be too bulky or too much. And I've got a medium backstrap on here. This gun does have interchangeable backstraps. It comes with three different sizes. There's the smallest one, which is basically just a straight, flat profile. The medium one, which is on here, kind of curves out some. And then the large one curves out a lot and has an extra part to fill up there. The medium works good for me, especially with that hoe grip. It feels feels great in my hand. Uh, this gun, like I said, is double action, single action. The double action pull on it is pretty decent. It's, you know, I'm not sure what the actual many pounds it is, but it's a a good stiff trigger, clean break. Your single action, you know, there's just a little take up, not much and a clean break. The single action is nice. This gun is uh, extremely accurate for you know being a smaller, I think a smaller pistol, I think it has a 3.2 inch barrel. I might be off a little bit on the 
specs there, but that, I believe that's what it is. And one feature that I really love about this this pistol is the fact that it's so simple to take down. I can probably take it down and put it back together with one hand here. So I'm going to try. See, you have right here on the frame, you just have a little tab here. You pull up both sides until it clicks. And then you can just slide the slide right off. that to the side and you have your lug there for the barrel that it rotates on and your recoil spring is all is contained within the guide rod which is nice I like that feature so that way you know some guns you take them down and the recoil spring goes flying out or you, you know you got you can too many parts that you can lose or scatter all over the place but this is nice being like this I, I really like that a good feature and uh let's see here just the barrel on this thing one thing i really like about this it's a, a unique design that breda has they've actually used it before i believe on their cougars which what it is and uh where your standard like a glock or a high power style barrel the, the way they you know when you cycle the action they tip up and then lock and tip, and then the lock and load locks like that tips up and locks. This barrel, it doesn't do that. Whenever the action cycle, the barrel rotates like that, and that compensates for a lot of felt recoil and gives you uh, faster follow-up shots. And I like that, you know, for like I said, for being a small or not not small, it's not tiny like a pocket 380 or anything, but for a smaller, you know, pistol. It, Simulates a full size pistol. It uh, it's got good accuracy. Let's see if I can do this one handed here. Damn it! Now that I say how easy it is, it's gonna give me a problem probably. But there you go. See, I can probably put it fully back together with one hand here. go. It's back together. Ready to go. It's the Breda PX4 Storm Compact. And like I said, you know, I it's a it's a double stack and it's a uh, kind of wider with with the ambidextrous controls, but I I can carry this in cargo shorts and a t-shirt with no problem and it doesn't profile too bad so I'll go ahead and show you guys that here you guys go as you can see I use these the Uncle Mike's in the waistband holsters they're really thin and they're comfortable enough too you don't your gun doesn't you know bother you too bad when you're wearing them I've got a different one on right now but just to show you this gun doesn't profile too bad One thing I did want to point out to you guys too is with this hoe grip I, that I use, it does give the gun a lot wider profile. I mean, you can see just how much it adds to the width of the gun. And that's, you know, the part that's going to be exposed slightly when you're carrying in the waistband. So without that grip, you know, this gun even has a lot slimmer profile. So it is easy to conceal this gun with shorts and even a tight t shirt on. So you shouldn't have any problems if you're wanting to use this for a CCW. Overall, this is a great gun. I'm very happy with it. It's accurate. The price point is it's good. I mean, it's a Beretta. You know, Beretta's good quality. You can pick these up online or maybe even at your local gun store for around $500, which is a good price. You know, it's competitive with the other guns in its category. And the, the reason I went with a gun like this, being hammer fired for a defense gun, I just feel that, you know, it's more reliable. You have the ability of second strike. If 
you have a bad primer, which with the striker fired pistols you don't. So all in all, this is a good gun. I would recommend it. And to show you guys once again everything that this comes with, you get right here. It's just a little crappy Breda plastic hard case. You get three different back straps of varying sizes, small to large, two magazines, and then this thing, which I have no clue, it's got the bread insignia in it. I, th I believe all it is, is it sits in the case during shipping from Italy to here, and keep, tr keeps the case from getting smashed, so I really don't think there's any actual purpose to that little deal, but, you know, that's everything you get. Not a bad package for around $500. If you have any questions or want to post a video reply and show what your everyday carry is, Spartan Survival, or sorry, Spartan Survival Network on Facebook is the page is my page, and then also my YouTube username is Civilian Soldier 762. Thanks a lot, guys.